The news of the kidnap of an American tourist, Kimberly Sue Encode, and her guide, Jean Pomirenge, first circulated very quickly on social media. The kidnappers had asked for a ransom of half a million dollars, about 1.8 billion shillings. According to security agents, the way media, both mainstream and social media, acted could have landed the hostages in much more trouble. Yes, you may want to rip out of uh, coming up with fake news or scoops as, as fast as possible, but that is dangerous, especially where there is a security operation of this, of this nature. Why we were calculative and tactical in the early stages, it is because there was a life to protect. Dr. Peter Mwesigi, a media scholar and co-founder of the African Center for Media Excellence, says journalists have the right to quench the public's thirst for reliable information. In those kinds of cases, the media uh, sort of satisfy the public's right to know. However, that right has to be balanced with other rights, including the right to, to privacy of, uh, of uh, the hostages and others involved, their families, etc. But also, I mean, the, the security of the hostages is quite important. He, however, says that the quest for information should not go too far. As much as possible, try and minimize speculation. You know, I have seen people talking about um, whether ransom was paid in this particular case of uh, the American tourist, you know, how much the ransom was and all that. I mean, unless you have heard from authorities, from the family, or from uh, maybe the tour company that was involved, you don't want to go into those kinds of details. Fred Muema, a senior legal consultant, is of the view that the mainstream media's responsibility may be bypassed by the free social media bloggers. It's easier to control you in respect of fake news than a blogger uh, who is out there and posts whatever it is they, they want. That person may not face the same sanctions that you will face. For you, you could easily be sued for libel and defamation and so on. The anonymous uh, bloggers, it, it's harder to, to pursue them. Muema has suggested that government should consider amending laws regulating the media. Uh, you need to have changes to the Uganda Communications Commission Act uh, in, in, in the area of uh, safeguarding uh, your, your right to do the business. Mainstream media houses, you know, media houses worth the name, should actually have policies that guide their journalists on what to do in these kinds of situations. So we are going to work with uh, the Uganda Communications Commission, which policies and regulates uh, the media sector so that they can always come out and where we have uh, uh, some of these social media groups which are not, uh, uh, which have integrity concerns in the manner in which they carry out their duty, then we shall raise this complaint through our cyber crime unit. For experts, responsibility by both mainstream and social media is key in protecting the lives of the endangered people and their relatives. Solomon Kawesa, NTV.